How is it going, all my carnivorous plant growing friends? Uh, today I want to show you this uh, nice little grow tent I have set up. So this is a 2 by 2 by 4 4 foot tall. And as you can see here, I split it in half. This is just a piece of plywood hanging from the frame. Put little notches in the corner, keep it from wobbling. Uh, tied some strings with some carabiners. Just because I wanted some more room in here because everything that I put in here was doing real well. I got a little Yescom. Uh, I think these are like 12 bucks at Walmart. I definitely recommend these for Nepenthes. It's actually almost too bright, as you can see on this uh, Ventrata. You can't really see it, but I'm getting a little bit of leaf burn. And it, it uh, measures about uh, 10,000 lumens down here. Up towards the top, it's like 20,000, which is reaching the... Uh, the peak of when the Pentes can handle, so definitely a good little light, doesn't draw a lot of power, super thin. If you get a nice LED panel, they're like an inch, inch two inches thick, you know, so yeah, I have a little uh, a push sensor here that I, I actually have a few of these in uh, all my grow chambers, and uh, I'm consistently getting drops to at least 60 degrees at night. Uh, and usually hit around 80 during the day. Humidity stays above 75%, typically 80. At night, it goes up to about 100. So I'm gonna show you guys some of my plants. Check this out, this is a, this is a truncata cross, as you guys could probably guess by the leaves. And I made a video of me getting this guy a long time ago, back when I didn't really know much about Nepenthes. I was just getting back into it after uh, falling out of Nepenthes for a while. So this is uh, Truncata by Talagensis. You can see this big leaf here. And uh, I'm assuming this guy's going to reach the size of my hand here in the next year. Probably bigger. I'll probably have to move him up to a gallon pot. But uh, being a Truncata cross, he is a little slow. You can see this next picture is going to be a beast. Definitely going to be bigger than that last one. Uh, this is another Truncata cross. This is uh, Truncata by Aristolochioides. And he is not looking so hot right now. Uh, I actually had, th I think it was Thrip. That uh, I wasn't seeing anything on my plant, but I was noticing uh, leaf damage. Like as you can see here. Nope, this is a basil. As you can see here, that leaf does not look good. And uh, I got this guy treated. He's starting to look a little better, as you can see. And uh, due to having thrips, I stressed him out a little bit and he threw out a basil along with all my other plants. I think just about everything I have is basiling right now after I got rid of those thrips. Like for instance, for instance this guy, I think uh, he took a little bit of a toll too. You can't see it as much, but he wasn't getting leaf jumps. He was just staying stable. But now that he's treated, he is leaf jumping. But uh, he does have a basil, basil somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but I just saw it uh, coming out. Um, I can't remember what this cross is off the top of my head, but it's looking real good. That's also a predatory plants cross. Let me pull this bad boy out of here. So this is uh, Truncata by Tentaculata. So I've had this guy for a year. Uh, all these, all these uh, predatory plants crosses I got. It was around Valentine's Day last year, so a little, little over a year. But I kid you not, these were, these were about an an inch, inch across. They were all small plants, or extra small plants. This guy actually does look really nice. Uh, this picture is a little beat up, it's getting a little old. But they have nice speckles, uh, nice wings on them. You know, the tentaculata, long, long peristome. And uh, I'm hoping it gets a little more flare with the uh, truncata. And uh, it did have uh, spikes on the top of a, the lid, which is a Tentaculata trait, but it seems to have outgrown that. I was hoping to keep it since since it had the possibility to keep it, but uh, 
yeah, you can see the leaves have a really weird growth pattern where they kind of curl inwards. And uh, it's had that since it was little, so I don't think it's it's not a health issue. But this guy also suffered a little bit with the thrips, as you can see by these leaf burns. But uh, he made it through. He recovered. It's given me big leaves now. And he also has a basil on it. Let's see. Yeah, you can see that right down there. So that basil just popped not long ago. What else can I show you guys? Yeah, so this this uh, Ventrata, I got it probably a year and a half ago now. It was one of the uh, one of the ones they sell at nurseries, and uh, it was a uh, fairly cheap. I think it was like fifteen bucks or so, and uh, it's 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 growing big. And uh, I grow it in house conditions most of the winter. I just threw this thing in here because I had the room at the time. But it's finally picturing again since it is in here. You can see the pictures, pictures way back there. It was not picturing for a while due to house humidity. But it keeps growing all winter. Right here is a Suki. One of my favorite plants. I prefer growing this thing in lowland conditions, but uh... Like I said, it it was in a fish tank and it's outgrowing the fish tank. Right here, let me see if I can get a good shot of this. So this is a uh, secret doom. Uh, I think it's Sanguinea by Densiflora by Ribcantlii. This is a predatory plants cross also, and uh, I got him a little more recently. But uh, he's turning out real nice. He's starting to get stripes, as you can see on this newest picture. He's coloring up real nice, showing some good traits. Got a Ventricosa, a uh, Sanguinea, uh, Ventricosa by Aristolochioides. I'm not going to dig back there to show you guys right now, but you can trust me, they're back there. Here, I'll show you the... Uh... Yeah, that's, that's a new Sanguinea picture forming. Nice tendril on it. And uh, that's all I'm going to show you guys today. I'm actually upgrading to a bigger tent here soon. Because uh, they are outgrowing this. And they are absolutely loving it. Highly recommend uh, grow tents. Especially to beginners. Even if you start out in a fish tank or a little terrarium. They will outgrow it very quickly. Uh, I couldn't believe how, how much one year of growth does. Uh, what one year of growth can do with Nepenthes, they can really uh, take off on you. They can go from leaves leaves this big to uh, <laughs> just about a, as big as your hand. And uh, from my understanding, these are slow growing crosses also, considering this is a... Uh, Truncata by Talagensis. Truncata is known to be slow, and Talagensis is also a rather difficult spe species to grow. So, yeah. Definitely, uh. Definitely get a grow tent.